Right guys, so we've got another project to get into today. Um, what have I got? I've got this beauty. 1986 Guild Aviator with ebony board and factory EMGs, but a lack of a tremolo. Would have had a Kayla. Um, I always used to think it was pronounced Kala, but it's not, it's pronounced Kayla. Um, and the reason it's not fitted is because something terrible happened to it. So here it is, more back in the day quality. That uh, arm tip is um, actually chrome steel not uh, current plastic as they seem to be these days. So that's cool. Um, this is the the Kayla. So I don't know how familiar um, all of you are with these things, but they are, they're kind of awesome. Um, they don't quite have the amazing tuning stability of a Floyd Rose, but not far off, um, but they do have like a really smooth action and um, they really sustain because of the way the springing works. Um, so they're, they're like really solid and resist string pull. You know, um, if you're tuning a guitar with a Floyd on it, you can have the Floyd coming up and up and up and up and up and all that sort of thing. Well, as you put string tension on a Kalo, it responds, it pulls up a lot less to the string tension, so somehow, through the magic of this roller cam, I suppose, um, it does offer a lot more sustain. Also, taking another look at a Kalo equipped guitar, note, the back has no cavities routed out of it, so you get all the mass of the body uh, in line with the bridge, whereas um, obviously uh, a traditional sort of Strat or Floyd um, trem, you have to route out a huge chunk uh, in uh, on the string line in front of the bridge. Um, you just have to do this what's called a bathtub route, hopefully you can see that. It's about, it's about an inch deep. So, yeah, not so bad. So pros and cons. But anyway, the reason this cable is not fitted to the guitar is, I don't know if you can see that. Let's get some, oh, I've got some extra, like, whoa, yeah. Okay, so these pieces are where the string sits as it goes over the cam. And which one is it? This one has one of the hooks missing, and it's actually taped, taped into this piece. <gasps> This bundle of masking tape. Anyway, the broken off piece of string hook is in here, trust me. Let's try and get it out. Oh. My god. Okay, so this little fragment of string hook broke off. The reason it broke off is the, um, the string hook was actually slightly distorted. I tried to straighten it and I didn't heat it up fast and it didn't like it, it just went pink. So, yeah. <coughs> Managed to find an awesome guy in Germany, Soundhouse. Not a sponsor, I had to pay. And now you've got Kayla string hooks. So I bought a pair because I'll probably need another one at some point, won't I? I only have one Kayla equipped guitar. I've never broken a string hook before in my life, but. Always best to have another one. 
I do that every time I buy a part. I'm going to buy more than more than one. Okay, so there we go. Kayla string hook. So the next challenge is getting this in there, um, getting all this apart. I've never actually seen anybody dismantle one of these before, which is why I'm making this video. It's going to be interesting. Yeah. All right. Well, got our stuff. Let's get started. So here we are. I'm going to try and keep all this in view so you can see what's going on. So I think this is a centimetre shot right now, so let's try and keep a grip on what we're up to. So I'm um, going to dismantle this thing. Um, I've actually done this before, dismantled one of these. Um, it's weird and uh, at some points confusing and worrying. <laughs> right, let's get on with it. I haven't said that, I realise I haven't got my screwdrivers out. start by moving the short springs on the bottom. And we should really have got ourselves a tub for parts, but we haven't. Because we're fools. Okay. That's that. Now we don't have to remove this tension adjuster block, I call it a tension adjuster block because if you look in here, actually I'll remove one of the springs so you can see what's going on. I don't have to remove this in order to continue disassembling the trim the way we want, but I'll do it anyway. So there's a screw. I need more light. More light! which bears on this plate here with a spring on it to increase spring tension to pull the tram further back to fight against the spring the strings more and that's adjusted by that screw there um, we don't need to mess with that I'll take it off anyway give you a clear view of what's going on. So here's the plate I was talking about and there's the screw. Okay so what we need to do next is undo these two screws remove the cam. Oh, this is cool. Kayla is a well engineered piece of kit let me tell you. Oh and I should mention Everything's imperial on a Kayla. There we go. So if we just kind of wind these. bearing screws 
out of the way. Don't need to go too crazy. So I don't know if you can you see that? It's cam bearing screw. So we just wind it out until we've got sufficient clearance to move our cam out. And watch out for the bearings. The bearings in the end of the cam. You might want to fall out. They don't want to fall out in this case, but well, one of them did. Okay, so. Now we've got the cam in our hands and we've got our string hook which we want to replace. Clearly visible there. Um, and our little bit that came off is more visible now. So um, what we want to do from here, I'm kind of dismayed by this piece because this is riveted on. Um, what we need to do now is drive out this pin. This pin is what's holding all the string hooks on. I'm going to get all the fine tuners out of our way. I'll put them in there. Whoa. Keep it in view, Graham. Okay, so here we go. So, so this side of that pin that's holding the string hooks in is sort of pinned flat and this side is round so I think we need to tap on that side. Now I've got here a little block of wood with a hole in it so I don't <laughs> uh, yeah so I can drive this pin out so I'm gonna position that over the hole I'm gonna have a quick check to see that you're in frame and you are. Set punches. Select the barbie of the bunch. Get to tapping. This hammer should be adequate. So have we got on with that? Oh yeah, loads out. Okay. I own one strip hook fell out already. Okay. And our new string hook on our old string hook. Oh, they're a very close match. Good enough. They're not quite the same, are they? I think our new string hook is a little a little more chunky than the old one. Okay. But should do the job. So how far do we need to go? So one we're after is quite a way down. But I uh, should be able to just tap it by drive it by hand now. No, not quite. Tell you what, I'll get some pliers and just pull that out. Yeah, that's okay, that's not worrying it. Okay, that's another string hook out. Now we're coming up to the bad one. Oh, it just came right out of my hand. No, 
There's our broken one. So what I should have done really is removed it from this. Oh, crikey. Oh, okay. That's held in by... Yeah, okay. So this, this, uh, the tension just, uh, pivots yeah. on, it's clever isn't it, the tension just the pivots on this uh, pin as well, so this pin does um, double duty, that is cool. It's a bit of a job to get it lined up. Okay. Okay, so let's get ourselves started. Fitting the string hooks back on. I go that way round. Keep in view, Graham. So blade to the spring, string hook. That spring's pretty bent out of shape. I need to neaten that spring up as I'm here. Yeah, okay, it's really only that one that was shoddy. Okay, so, broken spring hook, be gone. Um, am I coming in from this side? Okay. So, spring hook. Fine tuner goes through there, bare on this portion, so it goes in that way. And what I'll do is we'll, we'll insert the pin as we go. Okay, so number one. I think that's a, I think that's a new no, that's not a new one. Number two. Right now. Yeah, okay. So around here is where this is. Oh, no, oh, 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 oh. This is required. Get that in there. Come on, line up, you bastard. Okay, cool. So that's that lined up. Come back out. Let's fit the brand new one. Seems good. Okay. Oh. <clears throat> oh yeah, going all right. Trying to put the bloody thing in the wrong way around. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. It's actually getting tough now that we've got. fair few components putting their friction onto it. All 
right, there we go. And you give them a quick, quick little tippity tap to secure. Just knock him flush. Oh, you're giving them a little smidge more. Okay, that feels pretty good. That feels pretty good. Okay, we did it. So now, Should we refit our fine tuners now or now? We'll do them in a minute. We'll do them in a minute. Drop our bearing back in there. As we're here. We'll drop the older trays in Uno. Okay, feels good. Make sure we don't lose any bearings. And fit them in the right way. Oh yeah. So now this is a part. You can see how the cam bearings are held. So two Allen screws squeeze from either side, bearing upon the edges. Actually, they go right through, I think. Let's see what the front of the screws looks like. Yeah, so I think they sit in the bearing. So what I've got here is I've just got the head of one of the screws poking out. So I'll sit this bearing on that screw. That'll just locate us to start with. I'll wind that screw in a little bit. Till the cam is approximately sitting in the middle of the chassis or the tram. Now I'm winding the other side and careful to get it lined up. Yeah, it's good. I'll just wind it in until the play side to side in the cam disappears. Yeah, top job. I mean, these things, they're so smooth in operation. If you've never played one, they're great. And you can see why they're so smooth in operation. Right, I'm going to have a break there and drink my cup of tea. Right, while we're on the subject of different trends, I've got something I want to show you. So, this is a vintage Kalo, but in latter times, Kalo have reappeared. And here's a more modern Kalo. This one's just about uh, 10 years old or so, I suppose. Um, check that out. See that little screw there? Using that, God, that's stiff. Is that handle? Mm, still very stiff. Oh, it's actually <laughs> cool. Yeah. So this is the feature. So that this Kalo 
is locked. It's not trimming. A guitar with this Kalo fitted would be a hardtail. So what you've got on this one is you've got a, no a notch cut in the back of the cam block that you push that screw into and then it uh, locks the cam so you end up with a hardtail without doing any setup work on your guitar without opening the back of your guitar and sticking wooden blocks in there or any nonsense like that um, really good feature so that's a Kayla hybrid and they're still made in the USA even though they're back so just bloody awesome um, while I was up there looking for that uh, <laughs> I found this this is crap this is absolute crap. So the only advantage that this has is you sit it on a flat top guitar you don't have to do any routing at all but all these rollers man this one's um, obviously in pretty shoddy condition somebody's taken a fine tuner screws lost them and replaced them with nuts nuts anyway um, setting these up is easy enough but the string comes out Rear loaded, string comes out over these saddles, which has some sort of adjuster on them for some reason, um, and then pass under these rollers, which puts downward tension on them, and then over these rollers on the saddles, and these things you can adjust up and down. You can't adjust the string spacing, but that's fine, you can't adjust that on many trims. Um, the Kalo has a real advantage in that. Um, and then pass over another set of rollers. Um, and these trims, um, they're, they're not the greatest performers. Of all the, of the three um, decent modern trims that we've got here, the Floyd, the Kalo, and this Washburn Wonderbar, um, which made in Japan by Answer. Um, the Wonder Bar is um, the least wonderful. Ah, just thought I'd show you that. Alright dudes, she's back together, she's all strung up. I suppose it would be remiss of me to uh, sign off without giving some kind of a demo. Um, she does. <laughs> things and she also exhibits what I was talking about the um, classic sort of Kayla uh, defect so if I do a pretty extreme dive bomb the G will then be flat you hear that? oh my god but if I pull up all's well and like that always happens on every Kayla equipped guitar that I've ever had um, if you've managed to conquer it I'd be intrigued but what I would say is if you're a prospective purchaser of a um, whammy bar tremolo vibrato system equipped guitar and you're not prepared to incorporate into your playing up somewhere after every dive big dive little little movements of the tremolo are okay but if you do a big dive you will flatten your G so unless you're prepared to work around that then a Kayla isn't for you but everything else about a Kayla is fucking amazing so uh, yeah there we go
there she is back in her rightful place all the strings hooked on as they ought to be along here um, also just as a tip for anyone setting up a Kayla um, much like a Floyd Rose where you have the tremolo bass in line with like parallel with the top of the guitar to know that you've got your um, spring tension and string tension balanced with a Kayla the um, indication that you've got your string and spring tension balanced get out from here is this having your fine tuners at a complete 90 degrees to the top of the guitar so with the guitar laid flat your fine tuners should point up vertic vertically um, and the sort of well, you can't really see it but there's a little ledge on the back of the cam and that should be uh, level uh, or in line describing the same plane as the uh, tremolo chassis but yeah easy point of reckoning get those fine tuners pointing straight up and then you've got your um, cam tension and your spring ten string tension balanced and you adjust that with that screw that screw in that hole, the middle one that is um, the screw that I showed you bearing on that uh, piece of metal that pivots on the same pin that holds in the string hooks um, that's what um, adjusts the spring tension so can cause uh, can influence that setting um, that's about it really oh there's that last little bit um, so string lock and a nut on this one this one seems to be some sort of black graphite jelly um, it's a cool guitar isn't it so yeah Kayla all fixed and uh, no doubt over waffly explanation of Kayla's and comparison to Floyd's and all that nonsense um, well I hope you enjoyed the video um, if you want any more videos like this subscribe and uh, like make a comment all that sort of stuff tell me about your tremolo experiences um, particularly uh, I fancy myself as a bit of a tremolo expert these days so um, if you've got any questions about setting up Floyd's or Kalers or what to buy or you know um, any of that type of stuff bag them in the comments I'd love to answer your questions um, you know try and make YouTube a bit of a community where we're a bit a bit uh, useful to one another um, I've also got a plan for a uh, <laughs> Les Porn Strat um, like what's the differences video um, as I'm a guy who plays both um, I play you know either as um, as I feel uh, and as um, the tones I'm after kind of uh, suggest um, I feel I'm like well placed to do a comparison video so that's coming up so yeah subscribe all that kind of stuff cool hope you enjoyed the video and farewell thank you goodbye <laughs>